month is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. More than 53,000 Americans are expected to die from colon cancer this year. You know, and the number of deaths has increased among people under the age of 50, which is a little unnerving. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez is here with some promising news, though, on a new screening tool for this type of cancer. Leanne? Yeah, well, we know that there are two types of screening for colon cancer, and both are, well, not too popular, but they could save lives, especially a colonoscopy. Now, this new blood test is another tool and would be a game changer because it could detect the early stages of colon cancer. Yeah, people definitely think that I'm annoying. This goes back to high school, but, um, but uh, yeah. Because you challenge them. Yeah, I challenge them and I don't just take the first no. When others would have given up, Jamie Comer has fought hard to stay alive after a stage four colon cancer diagnosis in 2016. A routine medical checkup the year before showed no signs of cancer. And in one year's time, I developed 60 tumors in my liver off of a single tumor in my colon. Today, a simple blood test developed by Gardens Health in the Silicon Valley could have given Comer a much better outcome. It measures the DNA that's generated from cancer, and if they have that broken DNA, then that raises the flag that they need to have some sort of follow-on to confirm that. In clinical trials, a blood sample was collected from 20,000 patients, followed by a colonoscopy. The blood test was successful at detecting 83% of early cancers. Had they done that blood test, it would have been a simple surgery. But the test, which still needs FDA approval, was not able to detect most large polyps, which tend to be harmless, but a few may turn into cancer. That's why Dr. Craig Eagle, chief medical director at Gardent, stresses the need for getting screened by the recommended age of 45. In recent years, the medical community has been baffled by the rising colon cancer rates among even younger people. High fatty diets, high sugar-based diets, uh, low exercise, uh, being overweight. Let me know when I start to bore you. Um, then I have to take uh, magnesium. Comer has this to say to anyone complaining about the unpleasant aspect of a colonoscopy. I've had about 180 rounds of chemo and seven surgeries, probably about 60 or 70 scans. Comer has started touring colleges with her daughter and has this wish. I'm very grateful that I've made it this far and I would really like to be around for that parent, the first parents weekend for college, you know. Those are things I'd really like to do. And the blood test is available now, but because it still needs FDA approval, it's not yet covered by any kind of insurance. The cost right now is $895. Yeah. But, you know, once it gets approval, the cost will come down. Right. And it, it should be s as simple as, a, you know, a blood test just when you go to your doctor. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. save your life. Yeah. She is a tough cookie. She, she is. is. Wow. Wish yeah. her well. Thank you yeah. so much, Leanne.